Hi, I'm Steph, caterer, and um, I get to do something really fun here tonight. I get to play Barbara Walters with Meredith and Candace. So we're going to do that right now. Thank you, Meredith. Thanks, Jacob. Well, this might be mine now today. And um, I get to introduce Candace. Here she comes. Woo! Thank you. You were incredible. Again, you keep getting better and better. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's excited. Um, I didn't get the boot memo or the cute memo, obviously. So. <laughs> um, yeah, gorgeous number one and two. But I have these um, <laughs> cards, trusty cards. I'm going to ask them questions, and then they're going to try to be, like, you know, fun and Profound and, and not long-winded and not <laughs> Meredith is just I get excited because I don't I get to do an interview with Candace Cameron right I know I should really let her talk because you people know me so <laughs> I'm not that excited you really, really are though you're DJ. sparkly um, <laughs> you so did not call me DJ right did, now. Did. <laughs> do I even need to be here <laughs> yes definitely you do uh, I'm staying anyway <laughs> Lynn said I could. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start, okay? Time is passing. Hey, this is about white as snow, right? White as snow uh, theme, which is so amazing. And um, so first question is, girls, do you have any fun snow stories, starting with Candace? Snow stories. I live in Florida for a reason. <laughs> yeah, no snow stories. <laughs> this is going really well. <laughs> Meredith. Well, okay, I live in the South too, but every now and then we get some snow, like maybe once every 10 years. Okay, not that. It's like once a year or something. Little flurries, and they freak out. They see a flurry, nobody go outside, you know. <laughs> School's closed, no work. Yeah, not here. Anyway, <clears throat> but I went to Liberty University in Virginia, and we got snow, and we had mountains, so it was fun to kind of sled down these mountains, but Poor, being the poor college students that we were, we didn't exactly have sleds, so we just kind of used whatever, like cardboard boxes, and the trash bags in our hall. We just get in them, you know, slide on down, kind of race. It was fun. One time, though, I slid down in the trash bag, and there was a drop off, and kind of knocked the wind <laughs> out of me. But it was still fun. I'd do it all over again. <laughs> she needs a sled for Christmas. Okay. Put it, mark that down on there. <laughs> Jacob, sled. <laughs> Um, full house. Let's just go there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she already got called DJ, so that's over. Yeah, but, I did. Um, that's okay. Favorite episode? Favorite episode, truly, one of my favorite episodes is, um, it's called, I think it was called The Love Letter, but the Deborah, who sang the very first song, White as Snow, up here, she was actually in that episode, if any of you recognize her, if you're really a Full House fan. It was like Ricky, her son, or the paper boy. I don't really remember. But it was a cool, everyone thought that everyone was in love with each other because this letter kept passing to everyone. And anyway, it was fun. But it, it was, was really to DJ, right? I think it was. See? I really don't remember. That's why it's her favorite. <laughs> <laughs> um, Meredith, amazing, amazing. Like I said, always make, makes me cry, your um, worship. Do you have a favorite song that you have written or that someone else has written? Well, uh, I have a lot of favorite songs that other people have written, and I, so, but I won't go there. Um, we'll just, I, I'll stick to You're Not Alone, just because it came at such a real um, time in my life where I just needed the Lord to be near to me. And um, it wasn't one of those things where I sat down and was like, hey, I'm going to write a song today. But it was just the Lord met me in my deepest time of need and reminded me of his promises. It was like he just sang over me and handed me the song in less than an hour. And it was just such a sweet time for me and the Lord. And now it's really cool to see how the Lord uses that in other people's lives as well. So, so beautiful. It was such a great reminder for us that we mm -hmm. are not alone ever. So praise him. Um, full house. Let's go back there. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. You're only here for one night. I know. We need okay, to okay. keep going. You're a good sport. Um, so do you still keep in touch with the cast? I, I do keep in touch with mostly everyone from the cast. Uh, I emailed John Stamos a few days ago, and I talked to Bob Saget and Jody Sweeten and, and Dave Coulier. 
And really, I love Dave extra special because he introduced me to my husband. Which one's Dave? Oh, oh he played Joey, oh, the okay. funny guy on there. So Dave, he's like the nicest one. Can I steal your one. question? Uh, yes. Just, I was confused. I'm sorry. No You're the interviewer. No go. Go. Okay, so you go. So I'm just going to tell you if anyone, you don't have to listen. <laughs> I mean, you don't. I was going to just say, he introduced me to my husband because Dave's a big hockey fan. And while, while we were doing the show, he invited the whole cast to watch him play in this charity celebrity hockey game where there were both celebrities and professional hockey players. But he pulled me over to the side and he said, hey, I met these two really nice Russian hockey players. They're great players about your age and I want to introduce you to them. I was like, hey, cute guy, great, I'm excited. We love Dave. <laughs> right. okay. And it turned out that Val and his brother had come from Moscow, Russia, just a few years earlier, and they didn't speak the language very well. So they would have their morning practice, their skate, they'd take a nap, wake up with a cup of coffee, and then they would watch Full House because it helped them learn English. <laughs> yeah, really. So, See, did so you know we... that the show was fun and educational? <laughs> So I'm forever grateful today. Val and I have been married for 12 years now, and we have three beautiful kids. Aww. Thanks. Thanks for taking that time out then from them to come here. Yeah. We're enjoying it. Yeah, I think I was a little more excited, by the way, Lynn, in the email that I sent to you. It wasn't really so mellow. It was more like, James McDonald's Church, are you kidding me? Yes. Awesome. Freak out. <laughs> yeah, we like him too. <laughs> We love James. <laughs> love him. Praise the Lord for James. Um, do you, um, and what about you? Okay, Jacob, he was up here playing and playing and talent double with those yeah, two. Where did talented. you guys meet? We met in Nashville, okay. Tennessee. He was playing keys for Jeremy Camp at the time. Jeremy Camp fans in the house. Yeah. Woo. I figured as much. But anyway, so yeah, he was playing keys for Jeremy, and I was just down there writing and recording. I had to go to a Jeremy Camp. Um, show. Went backstage, met the band, thought he was cute. We went to Chili's with the band, and I'm like, you know, we kept looking at each other. It was really funny. It was kind of like, <laughs> we, we knew there was something going on. Anyway, so he basically found me on Facebook the next day. We went on our next date. Total or, Facebook wait. romance. Yeah, well, no, Facebook saved my life because we went on our first date that night. <laughs> wow, he's fast. And then how yeah. long until you got married? 13 months. Yeah, really fast. We've been married six months. Yeah, that's great. Yes, thank you. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite question. Um, <laughs> when you ladies think of the Christmas story, which we get to do now, it's December, um, aside from the baby Jesus, which of the characters in the story are your favorite? Is your favorite? Candace first. Me first. Uh, the first person that comes to mind is is Mary, for sure. I can't imagine being being a 15 or 16 year old girl and and having God speak to me that I'm going to be carrying His child, and I I am. It's incredible to see the obedience that she had in just accepting that and saying, that's okay, and I'm going to do this because I love you, Lord. No matter what scorn she was going to get from others, no matter uh, the pressure she would feel, even with Joseph of saying, I, I, I'm going to carry a child that isn't yours. I, I can't, it's amazing. It's amazing that um, what she went through and, and the obedience that she had to carry it out. Definitely. Yeah. I'd say the same thing. Same. And, you know, like what a pure heart she must mm -hmm. have had for the Lord to say that's the one that I'm, yeah. that's going to carry my son. You know, yeah. and I even that song "Labor of Love." I, I mean, it's it's hard for me not to cry when I sing it, just oh thinking about what she went through. So mm -hmm. I would say Mary as well. That is an amazing song, and just really showed the the reality mm -hmm. of what she had to go through that night, mm -hmm. and then you know, of course, being the mother of the Son of God. Yeah. So, good answers, really. <laughs> You're a good interviewer. Say, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all the time blush. we have <laughs> for this interview. And now we get to hear Candace give her testimony. And we're so looking forward to that. So, thanks, Meredith and Candace. Thank you. You're so on. Thanks. 